You know, there's nothing more American than a big old four-wheel drive truck. It's what we take to work and it's what we take to play. But the problem is most trucks right off the showroom floor aren't exactly what you want. Now, I'm not talking about a big old hardcore off-road rig that has to be all overbuilt and heavy duty because you're going to beat the tar out of it. Now, I'm talking about something like this, a daily driver that a guy wants to also tow a trailer with, take to the job site, or take hunting or fishing. When you factor that in, you can see that most trucks could stand to be upgraded a little bit so they could maximize their potential. That's what we're going to look at today with this big white thing. Now, what we've got here is a 2012 2500 GMC that belongs to one of our Duck Dynasty buddies down in Louisiana. Now, we're not going to tell you exactly which one it is. That's up to you to figure out. But obviously, it's going to be a hunting rig and it's going to be a daily driver. So everything we're going to do to this thing is going to enhance those two areas. The first thing we did was send it off to Linex so they could coat the bed, the fender flares, and the lower part of the body. Now, this isn't just for looks. These are all high abuse areas on a hunting rig, and the Linex coating will give them superior protection for years. All right, two things that every hunting rig needs are ground clearance and traction so you can get where you need to go, which means we have got to get this thing up in the air a little bit. And we're going to do that with a six inch Skyjacker lift. Take a look. You've got new massive steering knuckles, cross members, bracketry, hardware, shocks, even blocks and U bolts for the rear. Now, I know some of you are looking at this going, you know, that's not a whole lot of stuff. And you're right, it's not. Skyjacker gets their lift with these very unique steering knuckles right here. And then these cross members and brackets drop down your differential and your torsion bars so you retain your stock components, which means you keep your stock ride. It's just six inches higher, making this the perfect suspension to put on a hunting rig and a daily driver. Here's how it goes on. First step is to remove the wheels and the skid plates. <laughs> and then mark and label the torsion bars and get them out of there. Now this will require a special puller tool that you can either get from an auto parts store or a GM dealer. But either way, don't try to do this without it because you can't. After that, we'll need to pull off the end links, tie rods, calipers, brake rotors, hubs, everything. Because we have to clear a path to get those original steering knuckles out of there. Then we'll pull out the axles and remove the shocks and the lower control arms. Transmission jack is another tool that you're going to need on a project like this because it's the best way to support the differential 
and keep it from falling on your head when you unbolt it. All right, all of this junk here on the table is stuff that we're going to reuse. All this junk here on the floor, well, that's actually junk, so we're just going to get rid of all that. Now, with all the suspension out of the way, there's only one place that you're going to have to cut on a project like this. It's on this cross member, and the Sawzall is going to take care of that real quick. Okay, now it's time to start putting this thing back together. Starting with these differential drop brackets and the differential. Followed by the new front and rear cross members. The skid plate. The lower control arms. And finally, the massive new steering knuckles. From here on out, it's just a matter of installing the new bump stop brackets, then reinstalling the axles, the hubs, the new sway bar end links, and the brakes. Finally, we'll bolt on the torsion bar drop brackets and reinstall the torsion bars and torque them up.